This week we're looking at properties in the black country. Our couple are leaving the hubbub of London for a quieter life in a familiar neck of the woods. The excitement of inner city life is definitely wearing thin for Lucy and Graham. They've been renting for 10 months above a funeral parlour in Finsbury Park and want to escape the noise and pollution of the capital. They're both first-time buyers who work for the NHS. He's a physiotherapist, she's an occupational therapist. They want to leap into the property market together. So why Stourbridge? Who wouldn't want to live in Stourbridge? It's fantastic. Now, I've, I was born and bred here and I, my family are here and I really miss them. Um, we're getting married next year as well, so at some point we're going to start a family. I love London. It's just, it's just too expensive and it's just time to get out now. Stourbridge in the West Midlands sits on the edge of the black country, named for the smoke which bellowed from the chimney stacks of the Victorian age. Heavy industry may have declined, but the Victorian housing stock still remains. Well, we know where Lucy and Graham want to live, but what exactly do they want to buy? After seeing 20 properties, they must have clear ideas. Two bedrooms would be great, three would be fantastic. Garden? Be a bonus. Any other specifics that you're looking for? Prefer something with a bit of character, a more period property would be okay. preferable. And how much do you want to spend on this palatial mansion? <laughs> um, we at the moment we're thinking about 110. Right. But we would go higher if it was something you know very special. Right. Let's get on with it. We're starting off in the heart of Wollaston Village, a few minutes west of the centre of Stourbridge and one of their favourite areas. Bridal Road is a stretch of elegant and well-built Victorian properties. Our first choice is typical of the area and falls well within their budget. This two-bedroom mid-terrace house is on the market at £96,500. So, you come straight in off the street, straight into the lounge. <laughs> straight into the pink. It's a bit wee, isn't it? It is. It is quite wee. It's, it's a very much a, a two up, two down. Uh -huh. yeah. We'd have to do something about the door, though. I just don't like this coming straight in off the street. But then you'd make the room even smaller. Yeah, Can maybe it's the porch on the outside, potentially, or something like that. It's a conservation area. I doubt very much they'd let you alter the facade of the house. You appreciate that many of the houses in this area are built like this. Yeah, I'm beginning to gather that as we've looked around, so... The house does have a separate dining room at the back, with stairs off it leading up to two bedrooms. Now the kitchen is an extension from the original house, and the bathroom is yet another extension. That's another very typical feature of properties in this area we've found. I'm not that keen just that you wake up in the night and you need to go to the loo and you have to come all the way down the stairs, through the kitchen, into the bathroom. That puts me off a little bit, it'd be nice to have a toilet upstairs. Mm. Beyond the bathroom is a well-maintained garden which has side access from the street. Now this is the back alleyway to the garden of our house, but interestingly this is the neighbour's house. The owners of the house have a right of access across the neighbour's land. Now in a situation like this, you must ask your solicitor to check it out and actually confirm that that right exists today. Don't rely on the vendor or their agent. Too small, bathroom wrong place, access. Coming, coming straight into, into the yeah. living room. Yeah. 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 Just There's a few bits. things. On their own, they're not too bad, but when you add them together, it right. creates a picture that's not so good. It but creates they... a no. It, yeah. Basically, <laughs> it does. Yeah. Our next property solves most of these problems, and it's in their number one location, the heart of Starbridge. Everyone wants to live here in the quadrant, so prices are high. This house is on at £104,950. See, we've got proper hallway, stairs off the hall, no Lovely. stairs off the living room. Lovely. And then... Well, oh, this is a nice big room. This Isn't is it? Lovely. This is great. Something I really like in here is the wood burning stove. Was oh, it a yeah. real one? I thought it was just no, that's no, a ornamental. Real one. It's lovely. There's plenty on offer here. Three good-sized bedrooms upstairs, scope to upgrade the large cellar, and a private garden at the back. How important is the garden for you? It would be an absolute pleasure. Even just have a little bit would be great. Even something yard, as big as this and as private, it's brilliant. Big enough for you? Absolutely. Yeah, very much so. Absolutely. Bright enough for you? Absolutely. Bright enough. It's lovely. Great floor. Really. Characterful enough for you? Uh-huh. Yeah. So far, so good. But again, that traditional layout, the bathroom's downstairs. There is a solution though upstairs. Just take note 
of that cupboard. Uh huh. Because it's going to come into its own in a little while. Okay. And come with us. Mm. Now, if you guys come through here, you will see that this is the second bedroom. Uh huh. Great size. Mm -hmm. It's being sold as a three-bedroom house, and this is the bit we actually really want to show you. Okay. Because this room, which is a Ooh. very nice big room, yeah. backs on to that cupboard that we showed you in the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. And Phil and I don't think it would be difficult to knock through this wall and have this as a really big bathroom ensuite to both yeah, bedrooms. That would be fantastic. Given what they were asking for the house that we just saw, mm -hmm. What would you think this would be on it? I'm guessing probably about 115, maybe 112. What would you say if we said it was 105? I'd say that's fantastic. I'd be very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that. But it's great, yeah. Brilliant. Uh, really. Uh, well worth the money. Great, a hit already. They love the area, so we're popping just around the corner to property three. It's much bigger and much cheaper than Western Road, but we'll test their creativity. I'm not sure how we're going to do with this. They were keen to do some work, but let's see how keen. This three bedroom property needs renovating and at £92,000, we think it's a great opportunity at a good price. The house has been rented for many years and as you can see, there's no one here at the moment. It's no. staggering as you walk through, you will see that it has a larger variety of carpet and wallpaper in every room than you would have thought humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> but it does have some beautiful features, like this fireplace. Would you keep this fireplace, do you think? Um, definitely. Absolutely, yeah. It's the nice. Fireplace is lovely. It's nice. Lose this, yeah. keep this. Now, I know that you guys weren't keen on entering straight into the living room, but because of the proportions of the room, you do have the size to make a porch in here. That's not an expensive thing to do. You've got the bay window, which makes it seem so much bigger. And then this is the original wooden framed mm. window. No UPVC no. here. That's nice. In pretty good nick. And you might even want to keep the curtains. What do you think? How many teddy bears died to make these? <laughs> <laughs> There's a second reception room, a big kitchen dining area, and a rear bathroom all with bags of potential. We've got a number of options with this, essentially what was an outbuilding. Mm -hmm. You could extend into it and have a huge living space downstairs. You mm. could take it away, you could demolish it, knock it down, uh -huh. and then have a conservatory which actually benefited from the view straight down the garden. Oh, oh it's huge. Ever. Yeah, that tree at the end is still in, in your garden. Really? Yeah. Why? With three bedrooms, we think the third could convert into the upstairs bathroom they really want. There's room for a shower, basin and a bath. Mm -hmm. And a loo, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of an essential. Yes. <laughs> so you've really got to love it to take this on. And it does feel like an upside-down house. Like we too much reception space. Yeah. Yeah. It does it's feel bottom heavy. completely out yeah. of balance. Out of balance and too much to do. Despite its potential, they're not ready to take on a project this big. We're moving a little out of town for our next choice. We want to see what's most important to Lucy and Graham. Now we're testing location versus budget here. This is Kidderminster. We're 20 minutes out of your favourite area in Stourbridge. This house is on the market at £84,950. Let's see what it buys you. We decided to let Lucy and Graham loose to get the feel of the house for themselves. Cheers. Oh, I like this. I love Great. the floor. It's really light in here. The fireplace is really nice as well. Not so keen. No? No. I think <laughs> Not it's great. Keen on the fireplace. I think it's great. Really like this. Actually, no. It's a bit small, but. There's something missing. What's that? I haven't got a bath at the end of my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't think I can live here. No property is entirely flawless. It always pays to take a closer look. This is a very nice house, but it feels like a bit of a stage set to me. And then when we look at things that really matter, like the condition of the roof, there are slip tiles. And inside, I notice a few minor snags. This pipe needs boxing in, some sockets need securing. And here, the plaster's been removed, and you've got this bare brick fireplace. Very nice, but no effort made to sort out the join with the ceiling. You'll be out there on your outfit, putting up the wash and feeding the birds. Uh, surrounded by little Lucy's and Graham's. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy, 
Can we go and play football? <laughs> <laughs> At least we've got the grass area for that. At last, bathroom upstairs. A short walk away from the bedroom. So? You know the expression that's coming to my mind on this house? is fur coat and no knickers. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm glad we gave Lucy and Graham, though, a chance to make their own decision about this house because I don't want to go blazing in there pointing out the negative because mm. all these problems can be sorted yeah. out. But as Lucy and Graham have more time to dwell on the property, it seems their enthusiasm is ebbing away. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome Hi. to our lair. <laughs> this is where <laughs> Phil and I are going to talk to you. <laughs> what, <It laughs> what do you think? I think I've kind of gone off it a little bit. It's terrible, <laughs> isn't it? I think the room downstairs and the sort of middle floor, the smallest bedroom's a bit too small, really, and you've got the, the heating box or whatever that's exposed. It feels very staged, the house. Mm -hmm. But as we've moved up the house and started to spot various bits and pieces, the gut feeling is that it's just not the one for me. Although there are only minor snags in this property, if their hearts aren't in it, it's time to move on. End of day one with Lucy and Graham, so how are we doing? The second house we saw, the house with the hallway. I think that's contender number one from today, certainly. Yeah, it's got a lot going for it, that yeah. particular house. I and mean, obviously it's still got a small kitchen, bathroom at the back, but there is room to manoeuvre on that one. Let's leave it there and try and sleep on it. <laughs> <laughs>